Hey, we are here. Uh, next part, please go check out the previous part. This child spoke about how it is, and here it is that they're delivering her at the age of 18 or something. Now, it took about two years for her to tell of what she did in the occult, but this was her testimony of the deliverance. And she, she said that she got out of um, the darkness. The entities eventually had to respond. They had to respond um, to the darkness. Not darkness, sorry, but to the light, right? Because they couldn't ignore anymore. And those are the ones, the kind that come out with fasting and prayer. And even though she tried to run away and astral project into a spider, when she came back into a her body the pasta straight away got onto her back again and this time around the entity spoke not the girl all along the what girl on some i'm fine i'm fine you know got attitude like teenage girl but this time around go puma e what do you want with me bamu exerciser basically and she felt really horrible as soon as that happened the guilt overwhelmed the wakala on some what have i done type thing then this is now the process of healing then she went through it that whole story i gave it to you guys you can go check out dr Mamela tv the testimony is on there okay um the thing that that really ca like caught my heart with this girl's testimony was the bondage the slavery the slavery how the devil will even enable a person that is demon possessed getting busted in a church you know for satanic activity how they will cause this person to protect even the entities inside them to basically not allow permission for a pastor to what do you call them that to exercise them holding on to the darkness because they they glamorize it so much i am realizing because you know these witches after beyonce they are you know many of these people who come out of the occult since they're living in outliers and rural areas of this country and so who is it underestimate buying the executive study companies i'm dealing with people who are like middle management upper middle management they are thriving Driving in careers, they are driving big cars, they are buying beautiful houses, they are respected in society for the clout that they have gained through Satan. I'm speaking to the middle class, I'm not speaking to church 10, where but they never underestimate or anyway, because I'm speaking about respectable people. They feel like it ain't broke, why try to fix it? And they are so arrogant because of that clout and that priss they've gained, priss that they've gained through Satan, all the kingdoms of the world that Satan has given them. They are so arrogant in that stead, ne? in that position, that bakampani, ba ekangar nothing's wrong and so far they still have all of their possessions and the reputations they fake that they've gathered and again when i have a committee to suicide the badula man's by bullying next thing motor talker fits you ask yourself but was she depressed it didn't look that way he will have a tattoo because as soon as they become contrite and guilty satan is like this is the place of heavy of heavily ladenness and this is the environment where christ says come to me and i will give you rest so so all of a sudden and you're like no mara jabu why i pull he was contrite mara yo admit na confess and just again since the I realized through the testimonies that these tent deliverances that are underestimatable that my former friends and my family are in some hard knock bondage and some of them they are protecting demons inside them and it would require a Christian to persist Gabon to be long suffering stand in the gap wear sackcloth and ashes because they're entities even though there are people who want to protect their demons because they don't know what forgive them father for they know not what they're doing I realized the level of bondage I realized that if my former best friend were to encounter a powerful deliverance minister, I got all at the mouth, even though she looks like a diva right now. And Lomundu, as soon as listening to the puma, and a kala in Yembezi, that would be a river, cry me a river. They would cry a river over how guilty they feel. Right now, but for repo, hockey demons, Marabana, they are the ones in control of Lama Dimon. By a consumer, Lama Dimon, every time they consult a Satanist and Isangoma, and they don't know, Grand Chapo, they've got an entire legion, some of them, of demons in their bodies kim Jong un's army is in their body i used that analogy earlier they've got legions of entities in them do you understand and so to like you know have a whole bunch of attitude and be really angry and upset at them is not gonna fix anything you know this the deeds of darkness they will deny it all the way to the end guys though the arrogance of my family members because they're the ones that i've been in close proximity to the pump the pump guys pump Yes, you'd be like, no, koto omo shi family ya koyo nge. Koto abanta na baka wa satandani. Koto la segele yi house, ma. Koto la segele yi this uncle. Koto koko this dad. Like, you will be negotiating on some, but don't you see Satan has stolen? And to this person, it's like, ain't none broken. Please, life happens. Things happen. People lose houses. Kids argue in the house. Listen to the answer, guy. Let's go day. Na, muloi. Wangdella. 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 Yo, guys. I've been dealing with that level of darkness for eight years. Eleven, Krenshap, since I've been 
been saved but it's been especially poignant the past eight years and nanza kiduzi mwana kere maragodo mtu kyo batu kibao mbana nora haba possessed ore haba dike and little thing and they were haba tukata mwano leko ten thing ona sa tukata that child that testimony that I listened to God was using it to show me ubuti abazo puma ngenda haba laba kele kodwa hauka fasta wa rapela wa za haba za lwani ngana bambalwa ka ufela la fasta la rapela one day uto ota ananaro uto ya swimming pool unka december holiday ewe le rapela ananaro o strong wa tseba hu resista le hadu tziko kere keng holy spirit what's about we grieve mara some demons come out with fasting and prayer and when two or three are gathered there he is with them the day is gonna arrive when i say is he still in denial long as long jela uzo manifest uzo pumu bills about ufuna ngam what do you want with me uzo puma whether or not lomunt uyafuna cause that's the deal like that pastor that i was listening to the testimony of the girl of kikazi tu kitaba ya ore kwa kere keng uvo nura kase mokhoni ayako habo ona abate na meme ka december holiday holo balibana babang bahai and the thing that was sitting on his heart is as soon as he realized that this child is hard mark involved this kid is hard mark involved in the occult he could not rest that is a man of god that is a shepherd right there akakwazanga ukuresta what dedicator it december holiday to deliver this child to a point of prepping his family that there's going to be a satanist in the house ka december itswareng ka thapelo bana baka mo rateng mo amogeleng le tsaka motsita strange mo rateng re be re mo ntshwaleng ka mara yona and she got delivered that december holiday and two years later she gave her testimony because it was so taboo and she had to go through a lot of deliverance she had to like go through lots and lots of deliverance and also acceptance of what has happened and bravery to confess and all that jazz and once she and, and now she's like you know doing like what testifier across the kereke type thing telling of what it is that she came out of but i just did this whole session right to basically explain hore situation elia rebecca brown nko booking elia he said came to set the captives free with that woman that literally but you've got the holy spirit now why under heaven aren't these demons trembling and fleeing sometimes we need to hotella and we need to stand in the gap if i mean really truly this is love that christ would give up his life for his friends so we need to be sacrificial for them haivane o batla mmoga go apoloswa e lo re ne le sangoma o swa ga abuti khazeni ankel halifu le busy encroaching at the doorstep of koheno because satan is wanting to be bula cause wabona go ba guilty ba regret and he doesn't want them to repent before then cause that's a nice rap environment for them to repent wena as mzalwane uli wona le matla o ka prevent ma ma fu abona satane aka se gona ba tshwara put a iron dome over your family your friends and in the season of that iron dome being up cause when over tshele ditsi ka thapelo tshwantse o ba fastele and try and get the church in on it like as many mamas as possible who are willing to starve themselves for this child's sake or this man's sake or this woman's sake a church prepared to fast just to deliver people there comes a time when a person is so anointed and they're walking in so much power that a person that is doing a strange work in a church cannot continue and so they get exposed john ramirez it happened to him that little girl it is possible for them to manifest in so far as you are in a fasted state and prayer because they've got legions in them and a, a lot of times they are holding on to them the devil if lomuntu anga fige son 20 pambili on some pastor minang i don't want this anymore please help me yeah no then on that day those demons will manifest as opuma because you don't get to stick around if this kid doesn't want you anymore but there are some who are like ezami i want them it's wrong when it's your whole family you can't give up guys when it's abangani wonke umuntu okhule naye nele jaiba ka ofela nele ja di kota ka ofela di phatlo nele tumpo ka ofela le trapiwa after coming back from a party you don't let those people go you can't just just feel like accept ukuthi ubusibani uzoshona ngoku satan umeka bona ukuthi seka guilty eh eh next part